Hey, what is up everybody? Patrick here. Seems like we're back faster than ever, if you watched. The Fantasy Star Online stream from not even a day ago. We just finished the Sega Dreamcast Thursday, 9 p.m. I had some time off, so here we go. I, we talked about playing Fantasy Star Online for the Nintendo GameCube, so we're on the Nintendo GameCube tonight, so that's what we're going to do. Give the video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for all the fun. I enjoy retro consoles, getting them online, and we're using a real GameCube with a real broadband adapter, the real deal, we got the real controllers, and we're going to hop online and we're going to see how it goes and uh, have some fun. So stick around with me and let's get online with the Nintendo GameCube and have a blast with that. I was always curious about playing the GameCube version myself. And I, I had the GameCube, I had the broadband adapter, I wanted to put it to good use, and I thought, okay, well, how could I get on with this? And I, and I realized that the only two things you can really do on, on GameCube, in terms of online connectivity, Fantasy Star Online version 1 and 2, and Episode 2, which we'll get into later, but that's what we're going to play right now, as well as Episode 3 Card Battle. But outside of those two games, there's no Dreamcast you know, Raspberry Pi kind of uh, online connectivity with other games. That doesn't exist, so you're limited with GameCube. So I thought, okay, well, I got the broadband adapter. Let's check it out. And uh, we, I realized that with uh, the GameCube, there's uh, far more different server options. You know, when I when I started playing on the Dreamcast version, I was directed to Silverant. Love playing on Silverant. Here, uh, you can play there as well, but I tried a different one just to try it out. So we're going to be playing on Shithack. And, um, yeah, you know, like anything, it's got its pros and its cons, but the one thing I like is there's usually a lot of people, because with the GameCube version, uh, you don't necessarily need to play on a real GameCube, like I am doing. Most people play on the Wii, I believe, or I think you can use an emulator, correct me if I'm wrong, can you dolphin up or do something with the PC? Um, I'm not sure where Shithack gets most of their gamers from, but... It's probably not legit GameCube users. And that's what I'm rolling with. So I have no keyboard. I don't have the big, long, giant keyboard. You know, I uh, don't have any of that. Um, I'm going to be using here. We got here a Wave Bird legitimate Nintendo GameCube wireless controller. How about that? How about that? I thought to myself, you know, forget the keyboard. You know, you know the big one, right? The big um, GameCube keyboard, the official one, the only one. Not gonna get that one. I got a wireless WaveBird controller. Let's do Nintendo right. Sit back, relax, put the feet up, have a brewski or two, you know, and just really enjoy the the Nintendo for what it is. And this was all new to me. I, I made a character, so I got on a few times. I, I'm just gonna sh uh, we're gonna stream episode. Um, uh, sorry, uh, episode 1 version 2, like the same as the, uh, Dreamcast version, and we're gonna see the little differences in the menus, so for the people that haven't seen this version, yeah, it's slightly different than the, the Dreamcast version, you know, I, I guess it matters, like, which aesthetics you prefer, but we're, we're gonna check that out, I'm gonna stay off of episode 2, that's gonna be some other time, we don't wanna blow, you know, blow, blow it all out in the first go, that's, uh, cause that's a treat, so... What's up, everybody in the chat? How you doing? Oh, Terry, you're here. Yoshiki, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, glad to have you dudes here to just uh, watch. Yeah, a different stream here. Why not? Let's check out. Let's check out uh, the game we love on a, on a different platform. So really happy to be having the waiver. So let's just go online, head into the lobby, and we're gonna sit there and um, just basically see what it's like to hang out in the GameCube lobby. So let's do that. So no bullshit, wireless controller right here. You know, I got the wave bird right here. So I'm gonna wave bird up. And just like the Dreamcast, we're using the broadband adapter. So we're gonna go online game. And as you can see, the menu is already noticeably different. This character is different, everything is different. So I, I made two. This was my other one. 
Uh, just literally made the character, didn't play any time, but this one we ended up getting to level 12. So, let's hop on. We, we played for a few hours. And this one says, in order to play PSO Episode 1 and 2 online, you must purchase Hunter's License. We got that. And look at the bursting. It's so different. The bursting is on a whole different, like, color palette, you know? And the, the little changes you notice, subtly, but you notice them. And I'm happy to bring you guys real hardware on real consoles, retro games, all the way. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are interested in how to get onto the GameCube the way I did. Well, you got to pick yourselves up a broadband adapter. Then you have to pick yourselves up a snack for the PSO. I am getting mine from my card battle game. You can use them interchangeably, which is pretty cool. And um, outside of that, you have to have a game or you can go onto PSO Palace as well, and you can see all the heavily patched up things you can do. So my version of this game is just heavily patched up. Um, I patched it with the tutorial on, I think it was PSO Palace, I think that's where I got it from. Yeah, they have a GameCube section and a Dreamcast section. So, so here's our server, and we're gonna get on block one. So there's no choice here between block one and block two. So cheating, okay, so welcome GameCube players, update, um, January 11, 2002, so that's, that's pretty awesome, you know, so cheating is not allowed, good, uh, review the server rules on the forum, pushing A means accept the terms, beautiful, if you're stuck, hold X and B to soft reset, beautiful, and then you can join the Discord, so let's get on here, and as we can see, there's some people in the lobby already, And it looks completely different. This this thing is whacked out. It's uh, it's kind of on drugs, I think. Like, what is happening here? There we go. And we have some of our heart keys set up. Mind you, we do not have a keyboard. And we are not playing with anybody online right now that we know, I think, in the stream. But if you're watching the stream and you want to get on the GameCube, jump onto Shithack right now. And, uh, and here we go. So, one cool thing I like about this is if you hold X and, what is it, B, you can just, you can sit on like a chair. So, we're just going to chill here for a little bit. And yeah, the menu here is like totally different and this was all new to me. So, item pack, equip, items... We got the Booma's right arm, we got a photon drop, we we got a rifle, uh, we're gonna, we have almost enough attack to, okay, to use this, same with the sniper, ATA needed, so we're gonna get going with that, we got some pretty decent items, I would say. And then what, what did we have for the chat? Okay, so we met some people. We played with some cool people, so there you go. Those were the, the five people we played with. Very cool. Online score. Very nice, so... I, I thought this was pretty trippy. Like, when I first came on, it was so different. And if you look at the games, which I'll do in a second... Uh, yeah, typically I think the server's pretty busy, so you're gonna see a few people popping in and out. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, playing on original hardware, and um, I I have a, a burnt version of the game, so a mini DVD-R. So I have the, the ISO on there, and I patched it myself, patched the crap out of it, burned it, popped it on the original GameCube. That's how I'm playing. Um, I read a few warnings out there, do this, do that, I don't know, like it might do this or do that. I have a pretty good knack of this, uh, you know, stuff. Um, I just did it that way. It works uh, perfectly well on the console. We got the console HDMI modded as well, which is the the signal quality you're seeing. So this is not composite or S video or even RGB. This is an HDMI digital signal that I'm sending to you through the power of the internet, getting it there on the GameCube. And yeah, it's holding up pretty well. I mean, um, I like it this way. So yeah, you can twirl the character. So. Let's let's see what's up in the chat. Hey guys, what what is going on? So 
Cheers to you guys. We're going to have a, a nice, delicious Grosch. Yeah, so no keyboard. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm not really sure um, how, how anyone's playing on this. Yeah, so... I guess um, since we got the the PSO universe here that you guys like um, talking about this. So yeah, let's shoot the shit with this. So... Um, yeah, the, the little subtle differences you, you notice here are pretty interesting. You know, the, the, the game looks different. Um, there you go. Say hi. And then we're going to do this. Oh, look at that, guys. There's my there's my tag for the... I made that one. Here, what else do I have to say here? I stream PSO if you want to listen. Oh, cool. So I already made my hotkeys. And then look at that. We're going to try to attract people to the channel. By doing our own marketing, because uh, that's why we're in the chair right now. We're at work. We're doing the marketing work in the chair. Otherwise, I have to use the um, the controller to do some typing, and that's not going to work. So hopefully, we can pull in some some friends, and I'm hoping I can pull in a few of these people from the lobby into the stream through the intergalactic, so we we can talk on the mic, play with the game, that kind of stuff. That would be awesome. HRGB.com, check it out. Shooting the shit with the GameCube. Definitely looks different, and I'm trying to give you guys the best approximation by showing you this through an HDMI modded console. And uh, yeah, these are some of the ones we mod, some of the ones that we sell. And uh, image is really good. Um, these are these are the Pluto boards, and I think overall you get a very good idea of what the GameCube is all about. Now, whether you like it better than the Dreamcast version or or this, I think it's pretty trivial. I mean, this is an upgrade, so you, you take it for what it is. Um, GameCube is is, uh, is different, and and Dreamcast is is awesome, you know. Like so, I just knew that this version existed. I had never really played online, so I wanted to check them both out, and I, I intend on playing uh, definitely the Dreamcast version in addition, possibly this. But for now, this is just a one-off. So thumbs up on the video for showing you guys just sort of the one-off here. Now the GameCube doesn't play backups. It does if you modify it. So I wanted to keep my sealed game sealed, and I wanted to um, get the Game Boy adapter, the Game Boy Player disc, which I, you know, never had and lost. I needed to get a disc, so I had to burn it, and uh, modifying your drive to be able to read those helps. Now, that is just for, you know, uh, the purposes of being able to do things like burn patched games and fan translations. A lot of people would just decide to do, like, an SD card loader. So I think if you're if you're not gonna mod your your console to read burns, and then you know literally burn mini DVDs, then um, the the GameCube loader I think I don't know who makes it, but I haven't tried it. GameCube loader that's that's what I think people would do. They would just dump the image, you know, put their their you know their unique snack in, and then there you go. So had the setup, had the uh, you know the capabilities of playing. I thought, why not? And I never, you know, I never wanted to do too many of these because I don't know what's going to happen uh, outside of the Thursday, which is Dreamcast Fantasy Star. Uh, you know, that's how I have it scheduled right now. So yeah, good opportunity to do it today. I think that's pretty cool. So. I think um, I think we can just drive around here. So yeah, you see like these little upgrades and stuff. So check it out. So we got this cool badass character. I forgot the. Um, this is like a new character, I think. So there's a few new classes you can pick on the GameCube. And if I ever go through the character select screen, um, I'll show you in a, in a future one if we do this. But um, for now, whatever. This was a new character. Happy to make it. So let's check out. So if you look at the games, there's usually quite a bit of them. So here we go. We have, so this is an episode two game. Episode two. Okay, Empire Strikes Back right there. A New Hope right here. So we're not going to go into that. Not that we can anyways because it's ultimate game. But uh, So very hard and ultimate. So we're just going to make a new game. And uh, we're going to use the wave bird. So we're going to create a team. You can choose episode 1 or episode 2. Now, this isn't version 1 or version 2. This is episode 1 or episode 2. So, technically, version 1 and 2 are part of episode 1. 
this is like the cumulative and episode two is basically a new game so i haven't played much of it i don't want it to blow me away because i'm still having fun with uh the other regular you know one so there we go so let's jump on episode one and normal difficulty normal what's play mode here challenge battle normal yeah hard very hard ultimate so we're gonna call this h d r g uh <laughs> b street and we have to type all this so we're, we're probably just gonna be in this game on our own for a while people can jump in if they want uh, I don't know how to make a smiley face, so we're just going to say okay, and we're going to go register. And then you can choose drop, vanilla, or server, so let's just change it to server drop, because it looks better. Modify drop rates, two times easier in normal, very hard, 1.2 times, I like that. And then create team, and then we're going to burst online. Yeah, so for the practical person, like, I'm a connoisseur, right? So I decided to go GameCube, and, I, and I'm using a pretty cool GameCube, modified it for HDMI, did that whole thing, you know. Um, like the idea that I can go get the patch version, uh, sorry, the, the GameCube version, patch it. Like, uh, I added, like, the widescreen patch, a bunch of, like, little patches, things like that. So, I don't know if it's showing up widescreen, but that's how I'm watching it. Because I tried shrinking it to 4x3. And, uh, yeah, no, the widescreen patch is working. So, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's good. It's bright. It's big. Um, very, very interesting. But I think for most people, yeah, the option is to get a Wii with the GameCube controller inputs. And then I think you soft mod it. And then you can play it as normal and plug in any USB keyboard. Again, I don't have a keyboard. I got to use my controller, you know. So those are my hotkeys. I hotkeyed that one to try to attract some people. Hotkeyed that one because yay. And then I got the flag. So... And if you notice, you know, one little thing is, okay, look, look when you zoom in, when you, when you um, go to the shop, right? Look, look how they zoom in. It like zooms in at a different angle. It's different. It's a little different here than it is on the Dreamcast version. Is there a Wii option? Otherwise component cables. Yeah. So I think, yeah, component cables for the Wii are super cheap and you can, you can play this on the Wii. So for all you guys that want to play on the GameCube, in addition to playing on the Dreamcast, because both are awesome, I would say get a Wii, soft mod it, or, you know, Google what the hell you got to do to get that working and get it working that way. For me, the connoisseur decided to go all out, GameCube, HDMI modded, BBA, all the way, made it a little complicated, made it very delicious, very fun, and this is where we are. So we got this character. This character is like my other one, except she can use rifles. So this is a pretty bad bitch. And I got the red hat, the beret, She's a bad motherfucker, so we're just going to go and get it and uh, and see what's up. Now, I don't have to switch. Hold on. L let me make sure. What happens if I do switch to 4x3? Yeah, no, it definitely it looks um, squished. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the widescreen patch is working. That's really cool. So I'm, I'm watching it bigger. I can, like, lean back more. It's um, It's really interesting. So yeah, Tony and Terry and all you guys watching, man, like, um, enjoy the, the GameCube version. It's a little different, but more or less the same. Just uh, a few advancements. And we got the Wave Bird. That's really cool. So let's go to Forest 1. And Forest 1. What is up, Jordy Jinchin? Vladokin, what's up, dude? How are you? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> 6,800, yeah, that's a, that's a crazy crazy unit. Phaser, how are you? Anyone plans to play Blue Burst on PC? Um, I, th I, think, I think that's like... If I can equate it to like, you know... Hmm... It, I think that would desensitize me from the game. I think it'll be a lot of fun and probably the ultimate experience. But I don't think I'm ready yet. I would recommend that for 
if if someone watching has played this game for the last 20 years then you should play blue burst i think you owe it to yourself you know for me um i'm not done with this because i never played it back in 1999 and 2000 Oh, okay, sweet. So there you go. So proof that we're online. Somebody joined our game. That's pretty awesome. We got somebody here. Now, one thing I want to point out with this character is I don't know if it's because I'm using rifle or because it's fucking widescreen. But if you notice, I have an incredibly long range. Like, my range is insane. So I'm wondering if it's the weapon. Now, I'm trying to remember, but I patched this game, no joke. I patched this ISO about 15 to 20 times with 15 to 20 different patches. And if you go to PSO Palace and you go to the GameCube section, you can see what I mean. And one of the patches had to do with draw distance. And I don't know if that has to do with aim, but I have a feeling that it allowed me to patch it. And... Uh, it's pretty nuts. Oh, that person left. Oh, well. But anyways, yeah, just to show some people do enter the games. They come through. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty freaking interesting. So, let's let's keep going. And, and I like this character. We do have to feed the mag. But we gotta fuck these guys up first. And though there's no keyboard... Um... I think the only option is the $300, you know, GameCube keyboard, the used one, I think. Not sure. But, yeah, for me, I, I, I like using the Wave Room, man. I mean, sucks that I can't use the keyboard, but I guess that's what I have um, Discord for. Or, I guess that's what I have the Dreamcast version for, right? So, doesn't really matter. I mean, like, look. I'm wirelessly playing. That's phenomenal. It's kind of like this. This kind of modernizes um, Fantasy Star Online a little bit, right? Because I'm looking at the the graphic user interface. You know how like it's different with the the color scheme and all that. Blue Burst uses, I think, the same one or a similar one. Whereas the Xbox version and uh, the Sega one with the Sega, you know, layout are the same. So that's that's pretty interesting. I thought. If I do it through OSSE, <laughs> you know what's funny? We try to turn 4x3 to 16x9 and, and stuff like that. I'm not going to turn 16x9 to 4x3. Uh, I, I, I kind of like the way it looks. I, the, the reason I got the widescreen patch is because I'm using an LCD, uh, you know, modern widescreen TV. But I think it looks good on the stream. You guys see a lot of the game. You see a lot of me on the camera. This second camera that we just upgraded, brand new, just bought it. Upgraded the stream, 60 frames per second right here. 60 frames in front of you. The game runs at 30 frames. I can't do anything about that. But, um... I'm coming in smooth as butter. So... Yeah, let's just pop a few people. And I think we'll go up to, like, the dragon or something. And then, um... Maybe we'll jump back in the lobby, say what's up. Maybe find a game. Last time I was fortunate, we had a pretty full game. So I'm curious if we can get anything now. Yeah, so, so it looks different. So the major difference is the content, right? Like if you look at the layout, the layout is different. Um, episode 2 is a whole new game. Uh, and, there's, and there's new characters. So there's, I think, two new character classes that you can make. And I don't know if the one I chose is one of them. I don't remember. But yeah, new character models and things like that. Now, mind you, this came out, um, I believe, when the Dreamcast was dead or dying. Likely dead. So, the fact that Sega brought their, you know, brought their games to other consoles so fast. Xbox and GameCube got a lot of them. PS2 a little bit as well. Is amazing, right? So, like, I just like that I was able to play Sega on other hardware. And playing it on Nintendo was great. And that's one of the reasons I really like the Nintendo GameCube. And funny enough, it's... It's probably my favorite uh, Nintendo console because it has so much Sega stuff. 
Yeah, so that's really cool. And uh, I love the amount of Sega I can play. I love that I can play Ikaruga on the system. Yeah, for me, the GameCube is awesome. It was like the first uh, CD-based console. It's in that era of gaming I like. So let's try to attract somebody. And uh, let's get into number two and see if we can drop him a pipe. So yeah, we'll see some differences as we go through the game. Look at the burst. See the burst? The burst is different. Yeah, the burst was different. I'm live now. Let's see. So we'll marinate the GameCube players. And let's see if... Oh, so I hit the, um, the C-Stick and it got rid of my spells. I don't know why that happens. So let's try to drop them a pipe. Oh, what's up, dude? Sky Mason, welcome. So there we go. I think we got a GameCube player in the game and in the stream. That's very cool. We just dropped a telepipe. So yeah, these are the, the differences we sort of see here. And um, we have to do our... We got to customize... Yeah, because I hit the C button and this fucking thing disappeared. So attack. Heavy attack. Heal. Okay. And then what do we want to do here again? So... Shift the... Uh, the band and I don't know what we want to do here Barda yeah let's do that oh cool look at the buffs look at this cannon look at this character art wow very cool I love the character His the models look different he's got all these cool logos like that looks pretty fucking smooth and buttery badass Look at that, dude. Let's roll, dude. Let's fuck shit up. Let's get it. Yeah, so there's like these little subtle differences that we see. And we're gonna get up to the dragon. Like these extra little explosions. It's It kind of makes sense, right? It's like PSO prematurely died, so then like all the little, uh, you know... Uh, basic life upgrades, you know what I mean, that they were going to implement, probably in further upgrades down the road, just never got released. So when the GameCube version came out and the PC version, they were able to add these little differences. And you notice they're subtle, you know, they're subtle, like to the art, to the um, character design. Yeah, so we can do that, we can do this. Very interesting stuff. Yeah, look at look at him, like man, the character models just look really cool. Okay, so what do we gotta wait from here? There we go. Yeah, dude. Um, sorry, I'm trying to explain the game, but yeah, he's trying to share experience with me, so I appreciate that, dude. I guess it's like really not that important here. I mean, it is. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I should get a few hits in. So there you go. And my character has good distance. There you go. I, I tagged everything. Good distance. Very good distance. And this uh, this wave bird I'm using is like I would say like new. When I bought it, it was like really like new, and I haven't used it much. So um, it actually fits really well. The, the GameCube controller. Like, very, very comfortable. And I guess the Striker DC pad, the, the new one they made, is kind of trying to mimic more, like, this type of design. But Nintendo manufacturing feels way better than, like, you know, cheap Chinese-made uh, assembly process, right? So, yeah, this is really, really good, really sturdy. And look at my distance. I can kill these Rappies. Yeah, so that's pretty... Look at that. Oh shit, I didn't want to cast that. 
There you go, I got everything, I hit it. So now we just move. Yeah, boom. You know, so this is really exciting for me to be able to bring the GameCube version to um, my viewers here that pr primarily play on the Dreamcast. Because I was just as curious as you all are. So thank goodness that I'm able to get this uh, hooked up through a stream and to, and to be able to show you. Yeah, whenever I hit C-Stick, it clears my, my like, hotkeys. And I accidentally hit it sometimes and it gets really annoying. But yeah, playing on the Wavebird is my favorite part about playing the GameCube version. I miss not having the VMU, which is probably like why the nostalgia is so cool for the Dreamcast for me. But um, yeah, playing with the Wavebird is just sweet. I don't have to, it's just like one less cable, you know, for like me, a guy that streams. One less cable for me to worry about. And because I don't have the keyboard, that's two less cables. So if I can just keep doing the stream, Pop in with you guys on, on the GameCube version. Have you guys join the game. That's all I want to see. We got the GameCube. We got the 60 frames per second, guys. If you appreciate that, give the video a thumbs up. It takes a lot of thought and a lot of effort to, you know, get all the materials needed. You know, the, the games, all this, all this stuff. To be able to make this happen. So, let's try to feed our mag. So let's give Kalki some Trimate. Yeah, see that? Hear that? The noise? Look at that. Sweet. Okay, very cool, man. So very cool playing with uh, the GameCube. The environments are a little different here. Here we go. Yeah, because this is um, a digital, like a digital um, HDMI mod, everything looks very like clean and, and sharp. Um, when you look at the Dreamcast visuals, they really nailed it with like the choice of color, the textures, and the VGA. It's just like very like A plus level design and work, you know. And this signal looks, like, very much different than that. And I'm not speaking in, you know, better or in worse or in things like that. I'm just saying in the way that it comes together and the, the way the shapes are formed with the color around it, they're dis distinctly unique to each other. Yeah, I love the draw distance. I like playing this character now because I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go rifles with this one. Because I was playing melee before. And then after that, I'm, I'm going to make a mage at some point. Whether it's on the Dreamcast or, or here. Uh, I want to play a mage whenever. But, you know, you make characters and you play them when you have time. We don't have very many. I think I own like two of them, three of them now. So how you play the game is different. The triggers are... Um, yeah, kind of better. And then the... Uh, what is it? The, the L button. So like the third shoulder button. Opens the menu. So yeah, similar but different, you know? So let's get up in here. Let's have a beer. The bursting is way different. The slot A now saving thing is way different. There you go. The Dragon of Dojima. Let's get it. Playing on the GameCube. Who else do you know that brings you Fantasy Star, Star Online on the Nintendo GameCube as well as the Sega Dreamcast? Nobody you know that does that with the power of the internet. Hit the like button. Get us through the YouTube algorithm. It's a tough nut to crack, but we're trying our best to get up there. Get this suggested content. Get us up there. Fantasy Star Online. Promoting all the good stuff. Look at that. Look at that. 
His character looks like a Burning Rangers kind of model. I like it. I like it a lot. Chris Simpson, Just Standard Procedure, Terry, Yoshiki, Jordy Chinchin, J2C, J2C TV. Level up. There we go. So, oh, can we use our new weapon now? So we had the rifle. We can't use the shot yet. We can use this now, the sniper plus two. And that's even better. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Oh, look at this weapon. Look at that. Oh, shit. Look at that, eh? I got that fucking weapon. That's a big upgrade, actually. That's a big upgrade from what I was rolling with before. I'm packing quite the punch now. I'm packing quite the punch, I would say. That's quite the punch to pack. We're packing it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that we did that, and I love that we're doing this. And cool having Sky Mason here to lend us their service and to show us all that the GameCube players are cool people, curious people. They're an interesting group of players. They love Fantasy Star Online, and that's all we care about. Yeah, so there's a lot of, um, yeah, little facelift kind of stuff going on. I think I have that already. So yeah, definitely happy with the weapon. And I really like the glow of this character. So yeah, if we just go back into our items here. So we got the sniper. This stuff is all basically inferior now. So we're just going to roll out with the sniper. We got the Giga Frame, Resist Light, Warrior Body, Defense. Yeah, let's just get Defense up. Why not? And we need to get to level 17 for that. So let's just go back to town and then start the next thing we gotta start. Yeah, so GameCube, definitely fun. Is there anything we gotta sell? Not particularly. Yeah, actually we do. We got a lot of shit we gotta sell. So let's sell some stuff and then we're gonna go and continue through the next journey of this. Maybe do some TTF if someone wants, uh, if we get a few more party members. I don't know. Look at the zoom in. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. As it's, look at this. Look at the zoom in right now. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the zoom. Bam! Zoomed in. It's just these little differences. These little subtle differences that only hardcore, long-time Fantasy Star players like Terry and Tony would understand. As well as Yoshiki and all these wonderful people that play Fantasy Star and fantasize as much as humanly possible. Selling these things. So we got the sniper. I'm going to keep that shot because I'm curious what it looks like. Uh, don't need the rifle anymore. Definitely not even going to bother using the saber. So now we got some cash. So let's... I got mono fluid. Yeah, I think, I think, I think we're okay with that. What up, Snack Shinobi One? Oh, look at these gifts. Look, Santa brought some. What is this? What is this, Sky Mason? Come on. You, you didn't have to. You, you didn't have to go through your inventory and, and look at these things that you think the team might need and drop them here on the floor for us to pick up and utilize to become better GameCube Fantasy Star Online players. You didn't have to do that. Thanks, man. That's really cool. A little red box. He's got the box here, the box there. A little, bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I hope the GameCube version is bringing you happiness. Hope we're enjoying ourselves. Fantasy Star Online with the Sky Mason. DB Sword, yeah. So, the L and L14 Combat, plus 20, and the Gush Vulcan. So, let's see what we acquired here. Let's check the items. And, yeah, it's going to be a while. Wow, yeah, so uh, we remember this one. But these weapons, they're, it's going to take a while before we can use them. So, let's just go leave them in the inventory. And uh, actually, if you don't mind, I might sell the DB sword, which would give me some much-needed funds to support my online drug addiction. That is being Fantasy Star Online and playing Fantasy Star Online and buying a bunch of monofluids all the time. Let's deposit some items. How about this? And how about that? This and that, I think that's the way to go.
Very cool. We're back. Sorry about that. Thanks for the mic. Okay. Thank you a lot, Mr. Mason. So, yeah, the audio cut out a little bit before. That's okay. Uh, one second, please. My microphone froze because of all the ice. Actually, I'm going to use this opportunity to get a beer. So, I'm the only one in the game. That's cool. We're not holding anybody up. We're just going to come back and just enjoy ourselves a little bit. Do a little, you know, fantasize about Fantasy Star on the Nintendo GameCube. Not used to saying that. So, uh, and then we'll just show a little bit differences. And, you know, at some point, we'll get into Episode 2, which is a whole different game. But we're, we're not going to do that right now. So, going to get a beer. Audio's back. BRB. HDRGB. BRB. All right, there we go. We're back. Sorry about that. He lives in Canada. Microphone froze. Absolutely. Yeah, beer GB. There you go. We got another girl. One of the most delicious. So let me get some headphones so I can immerse myself. And I'm just going to try to level up my character a little bit. And then we'll just go and uh, go through a little bit more differences. And I wanted to show you guys this. In case you guys are wondering where I get my snack from... In this particular game, I get it from... Bam! This is the infamous Fantasy Star Online Episode 3. So we're playing Episode 1. Episode 2 is like in this game, but a separate game. And then Episode 3 is this game that I'm holding right here, the card battle. So we got the card battle here. Now, when I sought this game out, I was thinking to myself, Damn, you know, like, what's this all about? I know it's not Fantasy Star Online in the same way. So I know at the time, fans probably would have been like, WTF, you know, STFU, give me what I want. But, you know, playing it now as a Fantasy Star fan, I think it's fucking cool. And I'm sure it was a fun game at the time, just not what people wanted. But really, what we want is right here, right? So we can just play this. That's fine. So anyways, uh, right when you boot up the game, it says like, you know, you can use the same snack for PSO Boom. So got the snack, which means I can get online like in the old school way right now you can use it to register with uh, servers if you like but uh just getting the snack from that was cool which means you don't have to uh track down an expensive you know overpriced uh version to gamecube game fuck that got the snack from here got the heavily patched version on that mini cdr beautiful stuff love that and uh oh by the way when you go you can play this game online so this is the other game you can play online and when you go online Yes, it's fucking unbelievably interesting. Unbelievably interesting. It's unbelievably interesting. And uh, the lobby in this game is fucking cool. It's got a jukebox. And it's very similar to the lobby here, but instead of going to like fight baddies, you go to do card battles. And it doesn't quite play like Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that. Or Pokemon card or anything. It's kind of its unique thing. It's it's not that great, but it's it's fun and addictive, and you build like a deck and shit. So I was playing this with um, 
the, uh, our stream viewer uh, and Fantasy Star enthusiast, Gen6 Gamer. Him and I went online and I had a good time. And yes, you can definitely use the same snack. The game says it right in fine print in the beginning. It says you can use the snack simultaneously or uh, in conjunction with version 2, version 1, that kind of thing. So that's really fucking cool. Let's crack open the beer. And just enjoy yourselves here. Fancy Star Online. We are back at the stream. Holy cow, how are we back? Uh, you know, uh, we had a bit of a shorter stream last night. I just fucking getting so sleepy, man. I was about to K the fuck O. And tonight we're back for like a second win kind of stream. This is more of a chillax, chillax, chillaxation, chillax, chillaxinin. So we're, we're going to do that. We're going to chillax eyes, chillaxin eyes, and we're going to open this. Just like that. We're going to talk a whole bunch of crap. Nintendo GameCube. I'm the Nintendo GameCube. Wow. Holy shit. Mmm. Uh, I know I said I was going to get the headphones. I didn't do that yet. So I'll just go blasting through space here. Yeah, so the one thing I'll say is like the draw distance is really noticeable. I don't know why it's so far at such a low level character. Or maybe it's unique. I, I don't know. But I'm able to fuck this guy up from far away. Yeah, like I shouldn't be able to hit them. I think this was a patch I applied. Almost like auto-aim, I think? I don't know, but I really like it. Yeah, there was a list of them. So I would say that the GameCube had more options. Again, likely because it was a newer newer game, newer release, right? But when you go on PSO Palace and you see the options. So, yeah, man, I would just find a way to get that fucking ISO. Patch it up the way you want it. You can choose which ones you like. And then fucking play it on the GameCube or the Wii. And the Wii's easier and cheaper. You know, so I would do that. Look at that, fucking these guys up. Heal, and then blast. Okay, so what do we got to pick up? Dive fluid. Okay, we got a level 2 spell. So let's just move here. Take a quick breather. Holy cow, yeah. So let me get those headphones. But yeah, so when I picked up um, episode 3, I, I thought that was a you know, really cool, interesting reason to play the GameCube online. Because I figured I already have Fantasy Star Online. Why even bother? Uh, but that game itself was worth playing but i also do enjoy playing the gamecube version on shit hack it's a completely different experience uh just yeah different the same but different you know fun that's all i can say very fun and i love that everything's being upgraded we got the second camera we got 60 frames here 60 frames there 60 frames everywhere let's get the headphones Yeah, I just remember that I got to crank the volume up a lot higher here. I think there's probably a way to change it, but I don't want to mess it up and blow my ears out right now, so. Oh, you know what I think it is? You guys want to see something cool? And I know you're going to say yes, so you don't have to answer. It was a rhetorical question. I will show you something cool. So here's the the GameCube mod uh, menu. So yeah, so there you go. So I can do like settings and shit here. I forget what is what, and my character is gonna go crazy because you have to use the D-pad. Um, 
Oh, and the options, there's also like Dolby Digital and shit. So, display the 16 by 9 so you can do on and off. We'll keep it on. View all modes so you can check the different resolutions. Store settings about. Yeah, so this is the HDMI mod. So there's the input and then the output and then everybody's happy. So that's how you just check that out. Where's the options? Fixed, non-fixed, button config. Okay. So let's put our feet up since we're comfortable with the wireless controller. Yeah, like the the lava is looking good. I have a feeling in the beginning when you boot the game, there's a Dolby Digital option, and I think if I disable that and just put stereo, I'll be I'll have louder sound. Sweet. So sword, antidote, antidote, mood atomizer. So let's try to feed the mag. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Yeah, I would say that's good. Primate. So here, I'll um how about I jump into the lobby and we'll just uh we'll have a beer, we'll chat a little bit, and uh we'll just continue and do a game after, but let's go through the process of like what it looks like on the GameCube, right? So let's cast uh oh look, and I fucking cleared my hotkeys again. So there's the telepipe. And notice how the telepipe looks different. So we cleared the hotkeys, so we gotta do that again. So here, how about we debuff them? Okay, so let's go through the process. This is the bursting process. The whole operation is unique. Oh, let's go check the, um, the nurse. The old zoom in. Man, she's never looked so pretty. Beautiful. Can we go through here yet? Nope. They still haven't figured out that door. But yeah, little aesthetic differences. So yeah, let's go to lobby. Okay, so let's have a seat and check it out. There's all these people in the lobby. Yeah, there we go. Interesting stuff. Look at that. Give them the Dreamcast signal. Yeah, so beautiful. So let's let's promote the stream, let everybody know what we're doing. There we go. What is up everybody? We are online on the GameCube, on the stream, on shit hack, in the lobby. Everything is looking a whole little different. A little crazy, isn't it? You know, we're just like twirling in circles, we're doing this. 
sitting in the chair. Very, very cool. Oh, cool, man. Look at that. We even have people watching us from there. That's awesome. Definitely use GameCube for your force. Interesting. Interesting. I want to know what their opinion on this is. Enjoy the game. Greets Mason. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you for helping me out in the game. Joining the stream. That's very cool. Spells is a huge help. Sweet, man. We're getting good uh, casual conversation here. Very cool. We, we played with some good GameCube people. Whole different... Yeah, like aesthetic, different experience. We got Towboat here. Interesting stuff. Look at this, eh? Look at that. So this might be the um, screenshot. Let's get it. Right there. So we'll have to do that for the thumbnail of the video. Having a nice delicious Grolsch. What is up everybody here? Let's, so, let's see how we can communicate. Uh, I want yeah this isn't fun to l v l Okay, well, we're going to sit here. But yeah, I want to do like TTF with somebody. If somebody wants to get into one of those. But the fact that we just have people in the GameCube just chilling in the lobby is kind of interesting. So stoked for the quest. Tell me about that. What's going on tomorrow? What's, uh, what's happening then? That's interesting stuff. Yeah, very cool jumping on the GameCube version of things. Look at all these games, eh? Episode 2, very, very hard. TTFC, I want to try that. Level 50. These are some tall level guys. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. I'll take a look. Very cool. Yeah, people just keep kind of popping in and out on the GameCube. Yeah, very, very interesting stuff. And then we got the, the Dreamcast Bro Prop signs. There we go. Done. Sweet. So now we're just chilling in lawn chairs. So I'm just having a beer. Uh, yeah, happy Grolsch to you. So that's cool, man. Yeah, having a beer on the GameCube. Just like four Metaverse losers that we are. <laughs> this is great, man. It's a great lockdown edition of Nintendo GameCube Fancy Star Online Online. Man, I think this is fucking phenomenal. Here we are. Mm. Yeah, it's lovely just being able to play. Different version of the game. Having a beer. In the lobby. 
it's just uh, it's the perfect lockdown metaverse kind of move you know who needs an nft when you can play pso you know and and have a beer i got the real beer you got the real self we got the interaction here with the camera and the mic and the wavebird controller love using the wavebird wavebird is always the way to go wish i really had a keyboard but um i'm just gonna have to get efficient with this and we'll just do lol there you go lol that was a pretty quick response you know i think i love it look, look at this pretty cool we're all in the chairs i wish dreamcast had the chair something like that but you know it's not necessary dreamcast is all business gamecube is a lot of lounging around a lot of lounging a lot of sitting around having beers Mm. Hola. There we go. Say hey. Yeah, we're just chilling. Like, we're literally chilling with five Dr. Death and Aori. There you go. We're just having a great time. Look at this. Bam, boom. Bam, boom, bam. Mm. Patrick from HRGB, bringing you the greatest, latest and greatest from the world of online GameCube. Fantasy Star Online. Interesting stuff here. You guys want to see the other character? I can, I can show you that. Other character looks interesting too. Let's make a game, guys. Somebody help me level. Let's do TTF or, um, I don't know, get me to some high level. Me, me, me. Let's go. Help. Me? Huh? Ah, no, they're make. of course they're making a normal game. They're not going to make a normal game. Oh, well, that's okay. So we're just going to have to level up slowly because being at this level in normal mode is kind of tough, man. It's like uh, you can't really do much. We get lucky here and there when people join the game. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know, man. We're just going to have to keep chilling. But a lot of people keep rolling through GameCube all the time. Fucking unbelievable. Yeah, we're severely under leveled here. There's not much we can do. Yeah, these these people are making episode two games. Yeah, they're getting really serious. Yeah, but they're level two hundred, like you go figure. Interesting. But look at the amount of games, eh? Like, that's quite a bit. So, anyways, I think we should make another game. Create a team. Episode 1. Team name. Uh, help. Me. Help. Level. Stream. There we go. Help level stream. I think that'll do. Drop vanilla, server, whatever. Server just sounds like they'd give us more shit, so I'm going to go with that. And then let's get going with that. Now, another reason why I was excited to just kind of like shoot out a, uh, a quick impromptu stream was because I was thinking, yeah, not only did I want to show this game and, uh, you know, when will I do it? I had the time today, but also I wanted to know how reliant this camera would be. So, so far the side camera is looking pretty damn good. I'm happy about that. Hmm. 
Mm. So yeah, let's like walk around. Did we notice any differences here? I mean, it's it's all just little subtle stuff, right? But yeah, trust me, once we get to episode two, that's gonna blow your mind. I'm just not gonna bother yet. I'm not there yet, man. I wanna beat like fucking normal mode, you know? So let's go to the principal. So similar here. Yeah, so maybe someone will join the game and help us, you know, destroy some shit. Maybe we can do TTF. Yeah, very similar stuff. Yeah, definitely the game does look better on the GameCube, but, uh... It just looked really, really good on the Dreamcast, so just a testament to how good the game looked. What is up, Tree, dude? Yeah, PSO Blueburst. Yeah, I hear you, dude. Well, I, I, I bet a lot of people still play, especially because you don't need real hardware. You know, like, I'm stubborn. I'm, I'm playing on a GameCube. Fortunately, I'm able to play with, like, game... Uh, sorry, Wii players and... Um, I think PC players, I don't know. So what can we buy here? I don't think we need to fuck around with any of this stuff, but... Okay. So I think we can just go to forest, kind of dick around a little bit. You know, why not? We're here, we're fantasizing, and uh, we'll see if some people join our game. <clears throat> it's like starting from scratch again. I know, um, I know Genesis wants to play. I think Celine is their character. But, I, uh, yeah, they're probably just going to message us tomorrow and be like, Hey, what the fuck? I wanted to play. And, you know, you do it on the one night I'm not home or whatever. And that's cool, dude. We're just having fun. Yeah, so I want to test this new rifle out pretty well. So let's see. Just a few boxes, leveling a few things up, opening up a few things there. Yeah, at some point, guys, I'm going to show you the card battle. So the game I had right there. You know. Episode 3 card battle. I'm going to show that to you at one point. Uh, Gen 6 Gamer and myself and maybe some uh, whoever else wants to play will figure out a time. And uh, we'll get online because that's not like this. You can't just go on and find someone in the lobby. There is nobody there. It is a dare, you know, desolate, barren wasteland. There is nobody there. Nobody's playing it. It's not that. The only reason uh, it's available to play online is because it's like very similar server shit to uh, episode one and two. So I'm sure it's not that much extra work to, for it to just work online. Anyways, we got to go this way. Solo quest? Um, do you mean off offline? Yeah, well, I don't really know much about that, man. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I just wanted to show uh, my viewers and uh, to remind myself sort of what the GameCube version is all about. I like the little differences. Like, I don't have to micromanage as much. Like here, like I didn't even have to move my D-pad, it automatically went to the next closest target. I like that the distance is further. With this one, I might have to move it. Yeah, I did, but not by much. Just a slight, ever so slight flick of the wrist. Yeah. Sweet. Having real hardware on the HRGB stream, HRGB channel, that's kind of uh, what, what gets me excited, being able to show you guys real shit. 
And just know, whenever I'm showing you a video game system and a game and it's like, whoa, just remember, this is the real shit, you know? And, and I take pride in getting the legit game as much as possible, you know, legit hardware. I, I'm not talking whether you have it on the EverDrive or whatever. I'm saying, is it original hardware? You know, are you playing with the original stuff or are you emulating off a of PC? That's, uh, that's the big difference. Konnichiwa, Asaka. <laughs> what is up? Oh, what's up, man? Uh, we have a person in the chat that was playing us. Yeah, very cool, man. I'm playing on Shit Hack. Uh, if you want to join the game, you can join in right now. I, I could use some help. Here, in fact, let's check out our simple mail and send sketch I don't think we have sketch here probably talk to them in the lobby ah yeah so I play on Silverant for the Dreamcast and I play on Shithack for the GameCube I'm sure I could play GameCube on Silverin as well. I just chose to try another server um, for the, you know, the, the options, I guess. And definitely Silverin's the place to be if you're playing on the Dreamcast. Definitely. And I think, you know, any server is fine to play on the GameCube. It's just this one seemed to be the more populated one. So I tried it out and here we are. I think, I think we got to go back this way. Yeah, I don't want to get too, um, yeah, you got to change the DNS. And I think on the GameCube, you can save two or three different network configurations, which is awesome. If that's the case, I would definitely do that. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think I would change it every time when I want it to play. I just want it to be like simple and easy, you know? But no, I mean, I want it to play on shit hack. I was curious about it. Here I am. And uh, I like the change up. Dreamcast is Silverant. Shit hack is GameCube. Very simple. There we go. I don't know how I missed all that. Yeah, so just fucking around, showing uh, showing the, the Dreamcast people here what it's like to play on the Nintendo GameCube. The original GameCube, we got the Wavebird, the classic real controller. No joke, playing with the real deal. Having a nice beer, enjoying ourselves online. Yeah, maybe we'll get a party. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It seems like most of the GameCube players are all fucking started out fresh. Started out fresh a long time ago, I should say. They're all like level 200. Yeah, very nice to have you, man. Thanks for dropping by. Konnichiwa, Asaka. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if it interests you. I hope you come back to watch me play Fantasy Star Online more. It's always fun interacting, playing the game with you guys. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, I gotta make a force at some point here on the GameCube. Yeah, because they got fucking way better. Let's see. Oh, very cool. You modded a Wavebird. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's always fun restoring old vintage things and making sure they work today. A lot of third-party parts make it really easy. I was lucky where this one was just in really good condition. Actually, borderline not even used. Very cool. Yeah, in the beginning I was hunting down the GameCube keyboard, but then I thought to myself, I like the Wavebird too much to have a keyboard interfere. So when people come in, I just do that, and then I do that, 
And then I do that. And then I do that. And that's the extent of my communication. So hopefully people come in and watch on the stream, you know? Let's see here. There you go. Okay. So open that. I would love to use a USB keyboard, but I can't on a GameCube because I'm playing on the... Yeah, I'm playing on a GameCube, not on a uh, Wii. So I don't have that option. But that's okay. I just figured if I'm going to be that dinosaur playing on an actual Nintendo GameCube because I'm such a purist, then maybe I should suffer and not be able to use a keyboard. Unless I pony up the money and get the used keyboard, you know? But that's okay, man. I'm hoping a few people start watching the stream uh, that also play the game so we can have uh, a situation where they can hang out and help and I can just talk. So let's get going here. Okay. Blast it. So let's get going to Force 2. I think that's a great idea. Mm. It's fucking unbelievable. That grosh is delicious. Man, I want some chicken wings so bad. I'm not going to eat them on the stream. Don't worry. But I, I just been watching Hot Ones earlier today. And man, I want those chicken wings. Yeah, the GameCube also has a lot of cool games from the Sega side of things, from the Dreamcast side of things. Um, I think if you missed out on the Dreamcast and all you had was a GameCube, you would have been left in pretty good hands. But yeah, they had some good software. And a lot of the games that, you know, were exclusive to the GameCube were cool. Like, I Ninja comes to mind. Kind of like a Brave uh, Fencer Musashi kind of thing. Yeah, I would recommend that. Yeah, very little minute differences. Like, you can turn that thing on. Gotta heal. Let's see. Sweet. Got it. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Mm, yeah, I got some. Okay, so I can use that. So we can probably sell this crap. Yeah, let's go sell some things. Eater Dark Soul. We need a color recommendation. I'm thinking what's next. Not really sure. Who's next? Can't even sell that. Yeah, man, we got the wave bird here. We're wave birding. What is going on, everybody, with the wave bird in hand on the Nintendo GameCube? We're just checking it out. What's going on here? I want to get into a quest. I'm gonna. Be, I'm just gonna pester people in the lobby. Let's get into the lobby with. The wave bird. Let's wave bird up, wave bird down, wave bird all around Satan. What is up? How are you doing? We're bursting. Fancy Star Online on the Nintendo GameCube. That's a weird sentence to say. Coming out of Patrick from HRGB playing Sega Dreamcast. You know, we're just, we're not stopping. We're just doing what we got to be doing. So let's just get into the lobby. Lobby up. It's Friday night, man. Look at all these games. Look at all these games. Look at all these games. Look at all these goddamn games, man. Motherfucking games. Love it. So we're just gonna get into our lawn chair. Just like that. Yeah, we're just gonna sit, scope it out, see how it plays out. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, man. And we were just talking about playing... Episode 3 card battle earlier. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a fun game. I enjoyed the time that I spent with it. Looking forward to playing it again, so we'll put that away. Maybe look through a few of the other games we have online here. Actually, correction, there's only two, but offline games. What about Star Fox Adventures? Just like that. What about Star Fox Adventures? If you want to be an adventure and a Star Fox, if you want to be a fox in the stars and go on an adventure, I would recommend that. Yeah, man, the episode two to four lobby, that's what this one is. It's a different style lobby. It's completely messed up. Look at it. Look at all this stuff. It's like fucking, it's all green. Everybody's smoking weed here. Speaking of which, I might have to go take a delicious hit of all hits, if you know what I mean. If you know what I'm saying, I might go have to fucking take the hit of all hits and then come back. Yeah, man, we're just chilling. Like, I'm hanging out. It's Friday. You know, this is the bonus stream. We're bonusing up. I'm just here. And uh, we're going to play for a few hours. Not sure if we're going to have any success. It's not like anybody knows I'm streaming. On the GameCube, this was just a reward to give to the channel, to the people that wanted to see what was going on here, how it was going. Let's say hi. Well, 
Boom. Oh, they're gone. So yeah, people already have their own agenda here. We'll have to hang out in the lobby and see what happens. Mm -mm -mm. Can't go wrong with that. So if we hit here uh, B and X, B and X, we can sit in our chair. So there we go. And cross our legs and be all adorable. And that's what we're doing here. So not really sure what else is happening. Just chilling out here. So I'm going to use the bathroom, get a, I think a snack, maybe another beer. We'll be back. So enjoy the music. Enjoy the lobby. Please watch the video as much as you can. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. That really helps us get through the YouTube algorithm. And I'll be back in a few minutes, man. And hopefully we can uh, play a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Friday GameCube, baby.
Sweet. Set alarm 23 minutes. Whoa, so we got a pretty busy lobby. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so welcome everybody. Glad everybody's here. Yeah, very interesting. A lot of people in the lobby. We got Boris, we got Dante. What is up, everybody? Hope we can get into a game. Got a nice, delicious Grolsch with the side camera. Side camera all up in this. So we're playing on the Nintendo GameCube. How odd is that, eh? I want to get into a game with somebody. Does anybody want to help me level up? Let's see if we can ask. Any A N Y one want? Oh my God, this is so long. To help. Me L V L L V L question mark. There we go. Anybody want to help me level question mark? That is the question to ask. <laughs> Yeah, see, yeah, see, not really. Funny, man, these guys got the exact. Yeah, so GameCube players are, um, they seem like they have more options. Yeah. Maybe because they're all playing on Wii. I don't know. Interesting. That's usually how it is, eh? Yeah, I think most people are playing on the Wii, though. I think they're playing on the Wii. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I think last time I played, I got pretty fortunate to have joined a pretty good game. So yeah, that was enjoyable. And yeah, I just noticed there's more people here at like higher level. They put more time into it. It's a, it's a different, it's a different vibe. Yeah, I mean, like, look at all these games available. Like, holy cow, you know? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Granted, a lot of them have one player in them, but it doesn't matter. There's eight games, which means at least eight people. And, and then we have nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, there you go. So, pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Yeah, I think getting a, a BBA on the GameCube is a great idea. Yeah, people just kind of like come in and they disappear. It's insane. Like, what are these other... Look at all these other lobbies. You want to see another lobby? Let's check out 15. Look at this one. What the fuck is going on here? I think the Dreamcast has this one. Like, back in the day, people would populate these? I have no idea. Like, this seems crazy to me. Was the game that popular where you can make this many lobbies and people would be hanging out? Like, meet me in lobby 10. It's like, okay, dude. I remember at the time, I didn't think, like, this game was big enough. Like, I didn't think there was enough scope in it. And now, as a retro game, I feel like it's perfect. The fact that you can still play it online. Yeah, so... Let's just get in our chair. And there you go, and just have a seat. Yeah, another level 200. Like, wow. There's a lot of people that are level 200. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, I think, um, I think with the GameCube, yeah, you can definitely play on the Dolphin. Or however you play to get online, I'm not really sure. So 
Sweet. Yeah, so just like hanging out in the lobby. Really different vibe here, I think, on the on the GameCube. Yeah, hopefully try to find some uh, some people to overall get a community going with. Boom. I like the little added like attention to detail things, like the chair and the ability to spin around. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Chat. Simple mail, send mail. Yeah, like you can you send mail, but without a keyboard, it, it makes doing this incredibly difficult. Yeah, I don't really. Wow, that's a big long number next to a name. What the fuck? Yeah, only the last four were different. The, the, the first bunch were the same. Yeah, though um, th though you can play uh, episode three <clears throat> online. Yeah, it's uh, you really gotta coordinate that game with people. But maybe I'll I'll be able to set that up sometime. For now, it was just nice being able to come and see this. Boom. It's a lot of games. Like wow, what in the holy fuck? Yeah, I don't really get it. I don't want to do episode two. That's like a spoiler. Uh, Normal. Registration, vanilla, server drop, creativity. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, I'm digging the widescreen patch. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I really like that. like the widescreen patch. I like the wireless controller. And uh, on the stream side of things, more enjoyable doing it now with the side camera. 60 frames per second coming at you here with the power of the internet. 60 frames there, 60 frames there. Double 60 FPS, double double. Uh, that's exciting. So let's just, uh, yeah, have a little bit of fun with this. Maybe gain a level. Nothing too crazy. I got a beef patty in the conventional oven. We'll see how that whole thing plays out, you know? We'll just see how it plays out. It's a tasty patty. Love the tasty. Patties are good. Patty up. Patty down. Patty all around. HRGB.com. Check out the patty. At your local grocery freezer. I, I would say that's the recommended move. And uh, let's get going. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, this way. I'm not going through that bullshit again. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if my character is still at level 15 max. I don't remember. Or, or I don't know. Man, playing this in widescreen is so weird. I can see so much more on the TV. It just, uh, as opposed to 4x3. It just looks way different. The same, but different. I've commented on that a few times tonight. Yeah, it's just... That's what it feels like. Okay, so... There we go. Yeah, if it's open, we're, we're going. Boom. Yeah, we got a pretty good weapon. And, like, look at the distance. 
Yeah, I think this is one of the patches we applied. I mean, what else could it be? Is that legit OEM? Doesn't seem that way. It seems too good. Look at that. And now we're getting 6 EXP as opposed to 5? Is that normal? What the fuck is happening here? Is the EXP scaling? Is this whole thing real? Dude, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta get it. Here and there. Okay, boom. Let's get it. Like that. And like this. Done. Okay. Yeah, so fun. I mean... And the wave bird is just so comfortable. It's so comfy. That's probably one of the reasons I really like the the GameCube, because of the wave bird. That really gives the console so many points. Over many other consoles, if not all consoles. The wave bird is amazing. Yeah, let's try made up, I think. Try made. Sweet. Yeah, okay. So... I think we're okay here. Oh, look, I fucking cl cleared it again. Why does that happen? Is there a way I can disable it? Please, God, tell me there's a way. Somebody tell me, God, please. How do I... Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I gotta reset the mic a few times. Fortunately, I don't have to reset the camera. At least so far, both of them have been phenomenal. Like, really incredible stuff. What are you guys trying to fucking trap me? Fuck you. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, Wavebird for the stream is just so convenient. So convenient. What 
to fa. Nice. Okay. So yeah, still having the console experience with Fantasy Star Online. Right here. With the wave bird. Yeah, I hope the mic and everything is good now. Back up. Fuck these guys up. There you go. In a minute, I'm gonna have to run downstairs and get my beef patty out of the conventional oven. The conventional oven. So you'll have to excuse a moi. But until then, let's keep blasting and blasting and blasting. Just like that. Pretty badass. Yeah, so I'm a ranger. I remember that. I'm a raw something. I know that the robot could be this one too, but this one uses magic. So I definitely wanted something that used magic. Sweet. There you go, again. Completely fucked up.
Interesting. Okay. Rappy. Oh, there's my oven call. Alright guys, you have to excuse me for a minute. I gotta run down or else the oven is gonna burn, so B R B. Sweet. There we go. We got the beef patty. We're back. Happy about that. Mm -hmm. So let's play some Nintendo GameCube. Yes. 
Okay, we gotta back up, reset, heal. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that beef patty sure smells fucking good, I'll tell you that much. I put mustard on it and hot sauce. You know it. That's what I did. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Item, item. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll do. And then the mag. We need more antidote. Bam-boom! I was gonna say bam-boom. Bam-boom! We got it. We got the level up. Thumbs up for the level up. On the GameCube. Doing the stream. Having a lot of fun. That deserves a beef patty, I think. Holy cow. Hmm. Everything is beautiful. Especially when you're playing Fantasy Star Online. Okay, so hold on. I feel like we did all this. So which way do we want to get out? Ah, here we go. Okay, so there we go. So now we're pretty set. Yeah, I like the rifle here, very good. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're in beef patty bite mode territory. Let's find out. Hmm. The mustard really makes a difference. Mm hmm. That's a hundred percent full patty.
Nice. Yeah, from a distance, a lot easier. A lot easier. Man, I'm just really happy I can get the stream going. You know, hooking up the GameCube, switching from the Dreamcast, not having it take too long, very easy. Simultaneous streams will be a good thing. So let's go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got him like this. Yeah, I like being able to kind of fuck up the dragon from a distance. I like the auto aim as well. Yeah, it didn't even move. Okay. That's easy, just heal. Let's see. Pretty good. Okay. I Nice. Four hundred. Sweet. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah, man. This game is just a whole bunch of fucking laughs. A lot of fun. Sweet. Level 14 at, like, oh my god, there we go. Cleared the fucking hotkey again. But, I think that was a really good showcase of what the GameCube is, pop, you know, capable of. just hang out in the lobby that's what's up yeah this lobby's weird to me Oh, there we go. Someone that might be at our level. Oh, they're probably going to make a private game. Yeah. Well, you can't always find a party when you want one. Oh, okay. Here we go. Beautiful. Sweet. Man, that was a really good beef patty. I really like the tasty patties. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So we have that, and then we want to maybe buff. I would say double buff, and then maybe here a debuff? Yeah, okay. So I think we can do that. Do this. <clears throat> what is up, everybody? Glad to have you. Hope you guys give the video a like if you appreciate everything we do with the real hardware. Playing with the Wavebird controller on the Nintendo GameCube. Original hardware. BBA. All the way. Having a great time here. Playing Fantasy Star Online. Having a few beers. Drinking a few brews. All the same thing. Fun, delicious, great time.
Let's, let's get it. So we gotta feed it. Yeah, so we're playing with Ripple here. We got the GameCube online. 2022. Loving the quest. Normal mode quest. Pretty intense, if you ask me. We got the buff. We got the stuff. I wish I could buff my teammate, but not yet, I guess. It'll take a while. Man, that was a really good beef patty with the hot sauce and the mustard. Mm. Oh, I really recommend that. Yeah, not bad. Nice. Yeah, man. We're doing it on YouTube. Come and watch it. Check it out. Fantasy Star Online. We do every single Thursday, 9 p.m. on the Sega Dreamcast. Today is just a random online for the first time with the Nintendo GameCube. Having fun, cubing with the game, gaming with the cube. Keeping the, keeping the friend alive, making sure everything is perfect. There we go. So now we got him killed. Now we need to get a little bit of mono fluid. What is up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to HRGB.com. Welcome to the whole universe here in hyperspace. Going through the Nintendo GameCube. Playing Fantasy Star Online on the Friday. Random Friday. We always do Thursday 9pm. Sega Dreamcast. Fantasy Star Online. And here this is a bonus. Some fun footage. Something good to do. Let's get it. Have some fun. Had a delicious beef patty. It was really, really good. Wish I had another one. Might have to go get a snack. Some nachos or something. And we're using here the good all wireless wave bird controller on the Nintendo GameCube. The original GameCube. Cubing with the game. Buffing. Stuffing. We're out of control. We're out of control. We're bonkers. Done. 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 It's like that. It's like it's done. It's GameCube. It's GameCube. Ripple and I are just totally destroying the online the online enemies. We're, we're killing them. I need a bag of Doritos. Really, really bad. Rappy. 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 
Yeah, let's go. I think we're good to head down here. Jump through it. Start popping. Yeah, I like that mage character. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, so turn around. Start popping. There you go. That's a Grolsch. Yeah, having a good time playing on the Nintendo GameCube Fantasy Star Online. A little bit different than the normal version we play. Same game, fun, just a different character to level up. I'm going to make a force next time. We'll see how that goes. I think I already made a force. I just got to level it up, but... I'm thankful right here that we have a online party. We got a quest going on. We're trying to get through it in a t timely manner. Beautiful. Sweet. Okay. Pretty good. There we go. Okay. Okay, good.
Interesting. Oh, okay. So that's how we do it. Yeah, man, David Eller. That's what's up, dude. We're playing on the uh, Nintendo GameCube. We got the wireless WaveBird right here. We got the second controller right here. What is up, Kyle? Kosick? We got this all right here. Wireless WaveBird. Everything is good. Having a good time. I think we should do another run. I think we should get a full game if possible. If it's possible to get a full game, we should full game up. What do you think? We gotta figure it out. We gotta see what's happening. Maybe we'll get some bonus items. Okay, so we have to make another game. Oh, Kyle, what's up, dude? Yeah, man, uh, let's play another game. That, that'd be really cool. And if you can, give the video a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're interested, subscribe, and I'll try my best to entertain you whenever I play Fantasy Star, which is Thursdays, 9 p.m., Fantasy Star Online on the Sega Dreamcast. And today I'm just having fun with this. It would be cool if we can make a game, hopefully encourage a few others, maybe have a 3-4 player game. I think that would be cool. Let's get it. Kyle, you're the you're the game master. I'm just new here having fun with the GameCube. I don't have a controller, uh, a keyboard I should say, so can't really do much. So there is our normal game. Yep. Cool. So many games here, right? Interesting. Very interesting. I don't want to run downstairs and get a snack, but it's just like junk food. I got like a bag of chips down there and I'm like, ah, let me get it. Should I? Nah. It's a pretty good bag though. It's probably nachos or barbecue flavor or something. Which I'm pretty weak, weak in the knees to right now. But anyways, guys, thumbs up for the video for the effort that we're showing you with the wireless controller here. We have the wave bird. We're birding. We're waving. We're doing everything we can to be online on the Nintendo GameCube in 2022 and beyond into space and the future. If you're watching this in the future, I appreciate the future viewers, all the future people. Got to appreciate the future. Mm-hmm. So I think we gotta sell some things. Yeah, enjoy the shot music.
very, very interesting. All right, so let's. Uh, I think we should just keep rolling with, uh, with the punches here. Are we doing a quest or are we rolling into some forest? What are we up to here? We're not questing. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're checking out here, but yeah, let's keep rolling. Mm, forest one. I'm glad to have some good old GameCube people. Oh, I think with Kyle, the person in the game and in the chat, we should definitely exchange our guild cards. Let's do that before we forget. We need to start making some good GameCube friends. So, um... Guild card, my card, send, send to Ripple. Done. What's up, Tony, man? Yeah, welcome back, dude. It's all good. Um, yeah, we're just uh, we're having a good online game, having fun. Yeah, still just enjoying ourselves, you know, why not playing a little bit, got the guild card, saving. So, uh, Ripple, wh where are we headed, dude? I always like to know who somebody is, so Kyle is Ripple, that's good, we got the GameCube player. Kyle, man, I'm wondering, um, how are you playing, are you also playing on a GameCube, or are you using a Wii, or um, I don't know what other way there is for us to be playing together. I am on a GameCube. I'm always curious what other people are on. I hope it's GameCube, dude. I really hope it is. Oh, there you are. Welcome. Yeah, doing the Fantasy Star Online stream is good. Being able to go to the GameCube and just see the little differences is really cool, too. So, having a lot of fun with that. Oh, feed that mag, dude. Feed that mag. Oh, you're playing on GameCube too, dude? Oh, that's so dope. That is fucking incredible. Yeah, man. BBA, GameCube. I got the Wavebird. Holy shit, everything is wonderful. You're definitely the kind of friend I want to have in the guild. That's what we need. Good old GameCube friends. So every Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, we do Fantasy Star Online on the Dreamcast. I might have to start having a GameCube Friday or, you know, a whatever day. But I, I like what I'm seeing with the GameCube. I like how things are moving. And shit hack has been very nice. That's it. We got the Dreamcast props. Let's see. Did Panasonic Q have a BBA? Like a built-in one? I don't think so. If it did, that would have been awesome, but no, I don't think so. That is a console I would like to get. A Panasonic. GameCube. I'm using the um, the Char Red uh, Gundam edition. I like that one. So I uh, yeah we uh, we had it modified for HDMI. Looking unbelievable with nice HDMI out the back. Really good modern connection. Having the BBA on the side really just makes it like a modern console. It's like booting up a Nintendo Switch or a PS5. Basically the same thing, dude. That's how I feel with the Dreamcast when I got VGA and broadband. It's over. So I like using these original consoles with the original peripherals. I'm just having a blast with it.
Boom. Yeah, we got it all. Yeah, we need antidote and uh, maybe some solidomizer, I don't know. Oh, I got the fucking controller off. So I gotta fix that. Oh. That's not good either. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay. Weird. Finally kicked back in. Thank goodness. Sorry about that, dude. We're back. Yeah, I guess that's the downside of being wireless, right? Am I in the Discord? Yeah. So, um, if you guys are interested in the Discord, look in the description below of the video. And uh, you'll see the first link is the Discord. You can go ahead and join the HRGB Discord group. We can talk there. And I can basically let you know whenever the streams come out. And we can chat about the game and, and play. But yeah, we should talk there. This is the first time I've ever um, streamed with my GameCube as well, so that's exciting in itself. Just being able to see how that plays out. Yeah, and I like it. I think it's fun. Yeah, like different character models. Yeah, the signal's nice and clean too. Excuse me, just don't hit the C button, right? Okay, let's check the map. Mm. Move this way again. Okay, let's go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So I would say this is the way to go. There we go. Yeah, maybe we can uh, face it like this. My foot's fucking falling asleep. So I gotta face the camera at a weird angle too. It's Ottomans in my way. So we're just fucking these guys up right now. I think the mic is still fine. Boom. Yeah. I think that was good. Nice. Boom. We got it. We got the level up. Level up. Boom. Thumbs up. Level up, guys. That was awesome. We got leveled up. We are now level 15. Getting up there as high as possible through the intergalactic into Raggle on Altamira. Doing what we need to be doing. Fucking shit up. Loving it. Holy crap. 
I think the, the mag must be hungry. What are we gonna give it? Probably soul atomizer, yeah. There you go. Good enough. Okay, what happens if we give it star atomizer? Okay, star atomizer is good. We want it to have dex. So we'll start with star. I think we'll start with star. If we don't have antidote, which we should probably really get really bad. Yeah, so having fun with the GameCube. We gotta do episode 3 at some point. I gotta just get the fuck out of here. You wanna fight them? Okay. I mean, we could. I'm gonna have beer then. There we go. Fantasy Star Beer. GameCube Edition. Everything's beautiful. Yeah, so playing online here is just a magnificent treat. On shit hack. Cool that the server exists. I think it's weird and interesting that we have multiple private servers. Which is really cool. Shows, like, testament to how cool Fantasy Star is. You know, like, all the people at, at Silverant are nothing but amazing... You know, shit hack players, there's so many of them. So that's cool, man. I just want everybody to intertwine, have fun, enjoy all aspects of Fantasy Star Online together. Beautiful water. Water effects. This is great. We're running. Loving ourselves. Maybe someone will join the game. Let's get it. Normal mode. Level 15. Level 19. Ripple. HRGB. We're rippling. Dot com. Let's get it. That's all we gotta get. That's it. Look at the bursting. Look at the bursting action. Yeah, the character's been pretty fun, I would say. I don't need that. I don't really need any of this. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. Okay. Yeah, why not, right? Very cool. Yeah, the widescreen hack here is pretty interesting. I feel like I need to sit further back, you know, for my TV. Very interesting. Okay. 
So let's take a look. Sweet. We killed the blue Rappy. What does that mean? way yeah this has been a lot of fun showing the differences between the GameCube and the Dreamcast version you know similar but different curious to play more as the stream goes and goes and goes moving forward Graphics really, uh, really impressive here now. But there's something about the Dreamcast version I really like. I definitely want to uh, do some episode two stuff at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. Uh, I'll do another one of these. I think th this is fun. I'll probably do another uh, GameCube stream. Fantasy Star at some point. Why not, right? Might as well. Well, that's back to the original. No, we don't want to go here. Yeah, I love the, the various, like, uh, grip styles of, of the GameCube controller. There we go, from a distance. complain about this. Interesting.
Okay, there we go. So we broke the wall. So we can get through. Beautiful. Oh my god, I cleared my fucking... Why does this happen? Alright, I think we're going to get the dragon and then we're going to call it a night. I think this has been fun showcasing what the Nintendo GameCube can do. What we can do with the power of Phantasy Star Online and the communities. With a great time. I'd love to come back and do it again. So join the Discord and we can communicate as to when the streams come up. And every single Thursday, 9pm, Phantasy Star Online on the Sega Dreamcast. It's always fun. So let's bash this dragon in the head. Nice. We got him. We got him. Oh, boom! We're gonna type that out for you. This is our catchphrase. Boom. Congrats. Congratulations, dude. I think that was pretty awesome. Antidote, that's exactly what we needed. Yeah, we gotta get the extra items and then get going from there. Money, money, money. Hey, Ripple, actually, no, I think it's GG for me now. I gotta... I gotta get going. It's uh, sleepy as heck. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Make sure to watch the rest of the Fantasy Star Online streams I have in the previous videos, as well as all of the other cool shit I have. And we'll be back another time to do this. Had a great time.
Yes, sleepy from all the gaming we've been doing. Yeah, definitely. I think this was a good time. So... So thank you very much for watching the stream. I'm speaking specifically to uh, to Kyle here. That's uh, really awesome, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate you, dude. Yeah, go back to lobby and then uh, just basically say goodbye. But I'll be back on the GameCube again. I, I kind of like what we did here. I think this was fun. Um, Kyle, Ripple, if you want to play again, maybe uh, next Friday if, if there's... Time permitting, we can do it. Otherwise, yeah, man, everybody, you gotta play on the GameCube, play on the Dreamcast. We'll be back on the Sick of Dreamcast Thursday, 9 p.m. So let's just sit down. How do we sit? There we go. All right, I'm gonna turn off the uh, wave bird. I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye to you. Bye there. Thank you for watching two nights. Fantasy Star Online streams. We'll be back next time. See ya.